I'm philosophical. This is my channel. What's going on? I love you guys, especially to my biggest fan. The one who's ready, up and ready and waiting to hear my messages before you guys are. Okay. Good morning to you. So I had a really crazy dream, right? It's like when, when I get super tired and I shouldn't be, I feel like that's my guides wanting to put me asleep to show me some shit, right? So, you know how like when you wake up, you only remember part, you know that the dream was longer and then you only remember part of it and I guess it's because that was the most important part. So, the end of this dream, um, there was something I was looking at. I was, well, I was actually like outside of my door whether it was a bedroom door a house door whatever and I watched somebody or some I thought it was a someone okay because this shit this motherfucker shapeshifted in the dream so what it, what it was appearing to me to be in the beginning was not what it was when it shapeshifted okay so this thing wound up grabbing something that I was interested in and like once I woke up and just sat there for a couple of minutes I, it was so vague to me but the important part is is what I'm about to tell you guys all right so this is the get down right one two three what it grabbed this this it looked like an innocent like animal I remember it was like a bird and it grabbed something and it looked like a bird was coming back to a nest to put something in its nest. I went to look over to see it and it like some, it covered it, right? Like this bird, this innocent, it looked like an innocent bird and shit covered it. And then like, I went to walk away cause I figured, okay, well it was almost like ten, like teasing. Cause I just remember in the dream, it was something that I really wanted or I thought that I really wanted or needed. I mean, this, this could be like, I this could be for like some somebody in particular, right? This could be like addiction or some kind of temptation, alcohol, drugs, or something, right? Because that's what it felt like in a dream. Like it was something that was going to catch my eye. And then as I walked away and like I kind of walked into my my doorway and I'm looking at it and it literally came up from out of nowhere. It looked like one of those um sloths. And then it completely just fucking shapeshifted into a demon, okay? And it started walking towards me real slow and creepy and shit. And I just was like, I forget what I said. I think I may have been like, hi, you know, or something like that in my dream. And I shut the door. And as soon as I shut the door, like I just woke up and my heart was pounding. So I don't know if somebody has like a shapeshifter around them, okay? somebody that is basically just in their life to tempt them and that's it that's it okay so but I, I had to ask my pendulum some questions when I first got up because I wanted to make sure that that was what I really experienced and that shit was like yeah, that was a straight demon and I was like is that a warning and it said yes now I don't know it could be for me it could be for you it could be for multiple us it could be a global thing all right so I don't know. I just wanted to share that with somebody. Somebody has a shapeshifter. I actually asked my pendulum if that what, what was what I seen was um, was an actual demon in a human suit because it actually looked at one point when it started walking towards me like it was like it could have been a mix between like uh, a man but something else like hybrid type. It's kind of crazy, right? But that's the shit they showed me and. That's the kind of shit that I feel like it was because it my pendulum actually said, Yeah, man, watch. Hold on a second. You know, I can't help myself. Feels like the first time, so I don't know. Somebody could be obsessed with somebody's energy here or something, or just obsessed with something that um, is probably not to be obsessed over or some shit like that. Higher vibrational beings only. Can you show me? Yes. Today's the first day of summer, right? Happy first day of summer. Yay. Can you show me now? Spend my time so foolishly. So this could be somebody that just does nothing with their time but obsess over doing something. It sounds like sociopathy, like with the demon shit. Um, okay, it's today, June 21st. Like, it won't say yes till I say the year, right? 2022. Thank you. Can you clear that? 
somebody's got their eyes fixed on somebody for something and it's like that's all they can think about I don't know if it's a healthy obsession unhealthy obsession but I feel like somebody either has never experienced somebody's type of energy before or it's like something like that hold on sorry all right so okay I just thought of something crazy I'm gonna keep it to myself was that dream I had a warning for somebody clear that please Was that a demon disguised as a human in my dream? Thank you. So I don't know. There's somebody that has somebody around them that like looks like us, I'm guessing. And, and this is what happens when you have people who are just so taken over by obsession and um, vengeful actions and like addictions and alcohol addictions and their business being exposed or their world's coming like their world's getting shooken up because they still haven't taken accountability and you know I don't know this could be the kind of situation where the original person that was in this body is fucking gone like that could just be that so open up the door so somebody may want you to open your door or I also was picking up, and this is like crazy, but I'm just going to come out and say it, that there's somebody that's with someone and they don't know that they've actually forced themselves on women before, okay? Um, and I feel like they, they thought that they were going to do this to a, another female, and I, I think they can't, and it's like the demon in them is getting frustrated because I think somebody was supposed to like, you know what I'm saying, to a divine feminine like force themselves you feel what I'm saying like I don't even want to say that word anymore unless if it comes out in the card I'll just show the card all right but somebody was supposed to they thought they were going to get away with doing something to a divine feminine sexually like really devious you feel me and I feel like this person can't they can't do it and I think that whatever is taking over them is making them like frustrated or tell me more what, what do we need to know I'm assuming the message is going to be about the dream okay so you know this is my chosen card in the upright but in the lower attribute this shit is just like depression you know like no belief in anything it's almost like i mean you have to believe in something right you don't have to believe in a god that doesn't make you a good or a bad person believing in a god that doesn't exist doesn't make you a great person you know what i mean it kind of makes you a little bit suspect um and I know it's, a, I talk about controversial shit, but I talk about real shit and I talk about facts and I talk about logic. And so for people who don't like that, then maybe this isn't the channel for you. And if you don't have an open mind to just think differently, period, then this definitely isn't the channel for you. Okay. I'm definitely not the person for you. So night, this could literally be someone who's loyal or disloyal. I mean, that that's how simple this goes. All right. Sorry. I'm just like thinking all that kinds of different shit right now. So maybe this person's mind is all over the place, possibly. Now, this song Gypsy, right? Yeah, I used to sing this, but I used to sing this as a parody, too. It's interesting that what my guides have been doing lately. When I used to be on the roof, my cousin and I used to sing song parodies a lot. And I used to say, you're tipsy. So this person could be drunk. This person could be a drinker. Because when they put shit on where I sung parodies to it to, to just make fun of shit, like this is the first thing I think of. I don't think of the real words to the song. So, so yeah, Stevie Nicks, Gypsy, but Tipsy. So this person could literally uh, drink and just be destructive when they drink. Is this the light attribute of the night? I know it. So this is somebody that just, you know... I'm guessing that the allegiance to this destructive ruler is probably, you know, who I don't think this person is who they used to be. So I'm, I'm guessing that we're going to pull on whoever this, this shapeshifter was in my dream or whatever this warning was for somebody that somebody wants to still thinks they're going to get away with harming somebody or, um, ending of causing an ending or some shit like that, that that's ain't fucking fitting to happen to nobody. I mean, unless the person, um, is of low vibration. I mean, that's the universe won't protect those. But let's just see. What is this? Tell me about this night. Yeah, look, I feel like they're trying to come in and sabotage some shit. Okay. This is like, I don't feel like they're thinking clearly. Yeah. They, they could have been sent by somebody else. They could have been offered something to try and, uh, and sabotage somebody in some kind of way. Okay. Tell me about this night of swords. 
Yeah, Page of Swords. This person could be spying on you. This is the kind of person, I feel like this also, I'm glad that they brought this up, okay? This is you. I feel like this is you. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. You're just that motherfucker, okay? This is you right here, 1010. And I feel like somebody is also trying to sabotage somebody by lying about them in the community or to people that know them or maybe not or whatever. I also, it's funny because I had a dream. I don't even know what you call these because it's like I fall asleep for 10 minutes. Maybe they're just messages, premonitions. I don't know about somebody deliberately telling people that they slept with somebody to try to ruin their reputation, okay? If somebody did this, their karma, they may actually wind up having a health issue or even worse, or it may happen to somebody close to them, or um, if they have a vice, that vice will be affected. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just, let's just, you guys know what I'm saying, right? You guys have been walking karma for long enough, right? So let's see. What is this page of swords? I feel like somebody's trying to sabotage somebody by either lying on them or like listening and then some, with something with communication. Mm, look. Goodbye stranger is on. So maybe you don't talk to strangers, right? That's on. Goodbye stranger is on. It's like deuces. I, don't, I feel like somebody keep, is trying to like communicate with somebody, but... There is another person on the other end that's not communicating with certain types of people anymore, right? Regardless of what the reason is, right? It's all about the perspective. Somebody can think, well, you think you're too good for me. And then the other person could think, no, I'm just, I just don't talk to a lot of people because I'm going through trauma. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like people, they, they like to judge what other people are going through based on how they would handle some shit or what they would go through. And there's a lot of people right now that are purging a lot of trauma from shit that happened to us in other lifetimes. And if you try to interfere with that, you will be fucked with by the universe. It's just how it goes, all right? So, yeah. I just, okay, so this, because this song is about somebody taking a road like less travel, right? If for those of you who know, and I'll go on trying. right, this is about somebody like, goodbye straight, like walking away from what they know and just kind of doing something different than what everybody else is doing. So this this could be bothering somebody. You know, they could be taking it personally or hope to see your point of view. So it's almost like someone's like like I don't feel like the other person on the other end is is being rude. I feel like it's being perceived as that, right? It's like that this could be like sociopathy or something where somebody takes something personal because somebody doesn't want to speak to them or something. And it's like, who the fuck are you that you think I have to speak to you, bro? Or, or whether this is a man or a female, it doesn't matter. Leo, Leo energy. This person could be like very, um, First off, this person could be all up in there. They could have very strong mental illness with the strength and the eight of swords. Okay. I feel like this person has a mental illness that may have not been diagnosed right. And they're just sitting here, just la di da, walking around. Like, just, they're just, they're a sabotager. This is definitely someone who has a mental disorder of, um, this sounds like like that family shit I was talking to you about. So th this could possibly have something to do with like a deep family curse of just like sociopathy, psychopathy, and just like Machiavelli is something we were talking about before. Because somebody like, I feel like they get into their own head, man, like big time. And their pride and ego is a big deal here. There's definitely something with pride and ego. Like, how dare you not? Or who you think you're in? And, and this is your own thoughts from what I'm looking at. This is somebody else's own thoughts. They have, they sabotage themselves with their own thoughts. That's what this is. I think they're, they're taking something away that it shouldn't be taken. Okay, let me see what else is this. Yeah, I honestly think that somebody, one, has a hard time balancing themselves in the dome piece. That's what I feel like this is. Like, somebody has a really hard time. I also think that somebody thinks that they're going to get even with somebody. And it, it's almost like um, it, it's getting to the point where I feel like whatever this thing is that's inside of them, okay, has bloody hands I just saw. So I, I feel like whatever this is that's running them, because at some point when you have so many mental, you have so many things clashing mentally, you're not in control of your own brain, uh, you're usually taking over by some other spirit or entity or something like that right so 
Uh, this person could be like hell bent with a strength card on wanting to get even. Okay, this person triangulated you. That's what I'm saying. I feel like this person put somebody in in a story that's not true, or they they talked they 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 created a whole fucking like storyline. I'm telling you, and it's gonna come out. The shit is gonna come out that this person was a liar, or that they they were trying to set somebody up, or some shit like that. Cause that shit don't ever work. That's it. You're beautiful. So they could have, you're, so if you're a beautiful person, regardless of whether you're a woman or whatever, this person could like be telling people that they dated you or something. They could be that fucking sick. Like they could actually be sick enough to like be telling people that you're their ex or that they banged you or that they did whatever. And, and with this mental shit I'm looking at, if you're a grounded person, nobody's going to believe that shit. I feel like people are like, um, Someone's not sleeping. They're not sleeping at all. Yeah. Your soul is intact and somebody else's is, is just like gone. I feel like they're very good at hiding this. This could be the person that tried to take you out or was connected to people who tried to take somebody out and they can't. So now because that, you know, let me tell you something. You have a, like a, a clan of sociopaths that try to attack you and they can't t get to you and they haven't realized yet that you're the trap to teach them a lesson, right? 16 all, they will go down one by one. These are the kind of people where they will not stop till they're dead or in jail. And if you know that you're a trap for somebody or people like this, then congratulations. This is the job that you have here. This is one of your, <laughs> your missions. Okay. Believe me, I know all about it. So somebody tried to what? Triangulate you because you're beautiful. Bipolar, tripolar, quadpolar. What I tell you, this is this is this is the problem with mental illness not being treated the way it's supposed to. Okay, there's too many people who have been raped, murdered, triangulated, molested, and usually these people have been molested or or attacked or something as children. I mean, they might not even remember it, and a lot of times that's what leads to this. Okay, I actually wrote down something. I wasn't even going to mention this shit I was talking to my dude about last night. I feel like some people are really sheltered because my dude's very sheltered. You know, I said to him, like, what a great portal YouTube for people to be seen. There's going to be so many people that be seen for free off of these channels, right? 17 all. And he was like, I, he doesn't want that. And it's because I'm meant to be seen. I'm very personable. I have a personality. I've just always, I know that I have. So, and, and he knows that too, but what are, I feel like we all are, right? Why, why can't we all have been meant to be seen? It depends on how you handle your trauma. You know, it's like I allowed myself to go through the dark night of the soul and not get myself in trouble. Okay. Most people don't know that what they're going through right now is the dark night of the soul. And it's something you're going to go through whether you like it or not. And this has nothing to do with my say so. Okay. But I said like some people are sheltered because parents, you know, it's like my parents too. Every one of our parents. Power off. Confirmation. And even our parents' parents. They don't want anybody knowing everybody's business in the family. So now everybody wants, everybody in the family, like especially parents, want to be perceived from the outside people in the neighborhood and whatever and friends and this and that. Like there's nothing ever wrong in the family because, you know, nobody has family secrets. This is the shit that becomes super toxic, 1818, because then nothing gets fixed. It, then they just get pushed under the rug. And now like your kids grow up to be fucking like, we're all crazy in some way. And, and, and the parents don't ever want to take accountability for it. Cause what happens is the parents, when you start going a different route, it's like, I don't know what happened to you. Like, wh wh why don't you know though? How could you possibly not know? You know, it's like, I wasn't a parent that I should have been to my son. I understand if he's got problems right now, I probably have something to do with that shit. But my, see, my own parents have a hard time doing this shit. And so do a lot of parents from our generation, right? My, when I used to get done roofing and this is not a dig on my parents, this is just truth. And it's going to help other people. Cause I feel like my parents watch my shit and they think I just keep digging at them for shit, but this is just true shit that, you know, I'm thinking about. And this shit's been not spoken about for too long. And all it's been doing is hurting me and not them. So I refuse to hurt anymore. And I refuse to have other people hurting because of shit that they don't realize they're going through because of their childhood. So this is why I shared a shit, right? My, when I used to get done roofing, my dad and my mom used to smoke a joint with me in their house. Now there's a cop that lived across the street, right? And he knew they smoked. The whole neighborhood did. It was like, they, they wanted to believe nobody did. Like you could literally couldn't walk past my dad's fucking work truck if it was open, right? I mean, literally it was, it was that insane. The one time my dad got pulled over and, uh, I smoked Newport at the time. This is like, I don't know, 20 years ago and shit. We got done roofing. He got pulled over for going over like one of them bridges with too much weight on the back of the truck. He told me to light up a cigarette cause he didn't want the cop to smell the pot. 
and and he had me laid up four or five. I was coughing up blood the next day because my dad was so concerned about the cop finding out he was smoking pot that he had me chain smoke fucking Newports to the point where I was coughing, hacking, and I was coughing up blood. This is the shit I'm talking about, okay? So my parents used to smoke a joint with me when I was done. And then they would tell me like, don't go talk to, you know, no, babe, don't, don't, you know what I mean? Go like right home. Like don't talk to cause they may smell it on you. So it's like, let me get this straight. So as a child, I couldn't have sleepovers cause I smelled like pot, right? They couldn't come over my house cause they smelled like pot. Now I'm an adult. Okay. I'm in my thirties and shit. All right. Well, probably like late twenties, whatever, but and, and now you're asking me when I leave your home after just working my ass off for your family business and probably not getting paid what I should on top of that, right? Now you want to ask me not to talk to any neighbors because I may smell like pot too. It's just like everything is this cookie cutter shit from the outside and it affects the kids big time, you know, because the parents, this goes on and on forever. And then the parents start thinking that they're flawless and they don't do anything because this is the whole life they built for themselves, right? As long as we make it seem like what this is on the outside, on the inside, that's what it is, right? No. And that this is the bullshit. So I feel like this, it could be like, have something to do with that. There's a reason I have these downloads. There's a reason that I have these conversations and most of us have all gone through a um, similar shit with parents of a certain generation. And it's why we turned out the way that we did. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I said this before, like I got settlements. My parents were right there. You know, the irony is, is the last time I got a settlement, they wouldn't let me live in their house. I was living at my boyfriend's mother's for free, but they still had the balls to call me and ask me to give them money, but they wouldn't let me live there. Like, this is just the crazy shit you don't realize when you're asleep. You feel me? And granted, it was my, it was my fault that I was even in a situation, right? But I'm starting to think about all these times and like, I could have never possibly got ahead working for my family business and, and being around my family with an addiction because they made it seem like it was my fault. And now I'm not an addict anymore, but I'm not around them. So I'm proving that they had some shit to do with it. You know what I mean? And and it's just like, I'm never going to hear that from them and I don't need it because I see it. I'm, I'm factual. I'm proving the shit, you know, but It's like, how are you going to sit there and tell me I can't come home when I just got like money from a settlement, but like, you'll call me every week and ask me for three, four, 500 bucks. And it's like, I didn't even ask for it back, but I'm staying at somebody else's home for free. And they're not even my parent. It's like, this is the toxic shit. Okay. So I'm just sharing this shit because I don't know, this may like help somebody understand like what they're going through, like why they are in the mental state that they're in, because there's a lot of, there's, there's something happening with everybody right now where They're being forced to look at themselves, look at their childhood, look at shit that's their fault, look at shit that wasn't their fault. And I don't know, I feel like somebody's fighting this and it's turning them into something else. Yeah, so leveling up. I feel like this person, you're leveling up because this fell under you're beautiful. So I feel like, you know, it's like those of us who are like going along with this and allowing ourselves to be stripped and have people taken away from us and you know, just doing the right thing and just kind of like saying, all right, this is like crazy because it wasn't working for me doing it any other way. So let me try this. Right. Yeah. I told my dude last night, this, this, sometimes I wish I wasn't awake anymore because it's a very isolated. You got me running, running out of my mind. Don't bring me down. I don't know. Somebody could be just down or they don't like to hear the truth or something. 23, 23, like don't bring me down. Well, that's, you know, this is life, motherfucker. So I just told him like, I wish that I wasn't awakened sometimes, you know, because it's a very isolated, a lonely life because you can't have conversations with people. They think you're crazy. You start telling motherfuckers like that. My subscriber did that trees are walking and shit. And they look at you like with, with their, like from the side eye. Right. And like, you see everything from your third eye. Now you see everything for what it is and people for who they are. And, and these people don't understand that because they can't figure out what you mean by that now. And, and you know, maybe people are put around us to, to learn this instead of like attacking us. Right. Cause what's going to happen is they're going to pay no attention to the awakening and what's really going on in the world and who they're really around. Um, and that most of your family members were your biggest enemies in disguise, not all of them, but the ones that, you know, you had a constant problem with, you know, um, it's, it's almost like it's a, it's a fucking curse to wake up, you know, it's, it's, is it worth it really? Right. 
everybody's at different levels who are awakened. So some people are further ahead where they've already done all the work and they've already manifested the shit they were going to manifest. And they'll say, absolutely. And then there's other people that are like, this fucking shit sucks. I guess it depends on where you're at, but I still go back and forth with whether this shit was like something I really wanted or whether the universe forced me to have this awakening. You know, it was somebody physically coming for me. It was like, two or three dudes in one house coming for me that I had to stand up, defend myself and tell them to sit the fuck down that actually had me have my awakening. And that's when I started getting videos on my YouTube channel about the super empath going supernova. That's when I realized who I was. That's when I started getting, um, and that's when an empath just tells an arc, like, come fucking get it. Like you don't take their shit anymore. You know what I mean? And my problem has always been with dudes. And every time one comes for me, like I, I don't have that sit down submissive shit. I never did. You know, I swung a fucking hammer for 27 years. I don't have that shit. You know what I mean? Like I can fix cars and shit. I'm better with that than putting makeup on to tell you the truth. So they, they don't win when they do that shit with me. Right. They shouldn't be doing this shit anyway. You know, they should be the kind of dudes that respect mothers because they should be respecting their own because they came out of them. But these are the kind, kinds of people that just, they let their mental illness get the best of them, right? Um, and usually they come wind up putting themselves in the ground or behind, in a cell doing some shit like that. So that's when I started getting YouTube videos about Hey Yoka Empath. It took me six months to almost a year for me to click on that one because I didn't realize that that's who I was. I didn't realize that until I started learning about them, that I am one of those that, that I have been through a lot of shit. I have a dark side. I use it to, to defeat other people coming at me with some bullshit, but it's not how I live my life. And that I am the most powerful being, one of the most powerful beings on this planet. I've had multiple people trying to destroy me. I'm still here. And not only am I still here, but I still keep growing. You know what I'm saying? And, and people have fallen off and I don't even know what the fuck happened to half of them, but I know what happened to the other half and they can rest in peace and shit. So Whoever this night person is here, right? In low vibration. This is you. You're beautiful and leveling up. You got this on the left here. Triangulated you, bipolar, tri tripolar, quadpolar. Okay. I want to get letters and find out what's going on here. Don't bring me down, 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 down. W. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like trier today, so I'm not going to upload a lot, but... W H <laughs> F in the name of love. So some this could be the kind of person that does crazy things in the name of love. Okay. Who W H O who F this could be like, like who the fuck are you? <laughs> it could be some shit like that. Yeah, look, FK, I feel like someone's like, who the fuck are you or this and that. So when somebody says some shit like this, stand up and tell them who the fuck you are then, okay? If somebody's got a problem, this could be like literally your guide saying like, who the fuck do you think you are, okay? That could be your guides. One man to overthrow. Oof, F yeah, FKY. I feel like somebody's like, well, who fuck you? Come get it. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know who this is or what the other person is on the end, but if you leveling up, that's the first thing. That's the only thing I notice here. If you leveling up and if this is you and you're a chosen one, this motherfucker going to go down just like every other one of them. One man, he resists. I feel like this person resists change, period. They resist anything. They resist advice. They resist change. They resist... Um, admitting that they need the change when if you made a list about what this person has to change and what they don't, I don't know if there would be anything under the list where they don't. Okay. So if this is somebody saying, who the fuck are you? Tell them who you are. Tell them if you want to come get it, come get it, but stop doing it covertly and just come up and do some shit. You know what I mean? Cause these are the kinds of people that will act all tough when they're talking to other people. And you probably could have been at family dysfunctions with this person, saw them outside, saw them at stores and shit. And they don't say a motherfucking word. You know what I mean? That's what kind of people these are. They're very tough with the strength card, like covertly, like in their mind, they're tough. They probably have said a million times or thought a million times of what they want to try and do and say. But when they're actually in your presence, they don't do a goddamn thing. Okay. That's the kind of person this is. And that's why I call them punks. There is no other word for it, right? This person's got bad karma. I just saw. So supernatural is you. 
I wrecked my house. So this person could have actually destroyed their own home. This could be the kind of person where when they get homes, they don't treat it well. You know, they don't fix the roof. They don't fix pipes. When shit breaks, it just breaks and we just kind of make the shit work. And then they wind up losing their home and shit. And they get, you know, hopping from home to home and shit because they never really care about anything that they have because they don't really appreciate and they're not grateful for much in their life. Could not take your pride. So I don't know if... Yeah, I could not take your pride. That that's that's good in a healthy way, but having that pride in an unhealthy way that that'll get you look fake laugher. So this is the kind of person where if they're around a bunch of people, I feel like if they're like an opportunist or they're like the kind that preys on people or tries to feel people out with the sob stories and shit to see what they can get from them. I feel like this person is one of those people that laughs like excessively. Like I feel. Those of us who are awakened, we can we can spot a fake laugher. I don't feel like people who are asleep can. This is why we're dangerous. Like we can spot phony criers, phony laughers. We can tell by people's facial expressions and where their eyes go when they're talking. And then you, this is what you'll get when you get a sociopath. Because this is what happened to me with that dude Mike, right? I started calling his shit on everything. He couldn't stand it. I'm the I'm the one female him and the rest of his fucking family couldn't destroy and they still won't. Okay. I don't give a shit if it's a cousin, an uncle. I don't give a fuck who it is, okay? Um, you come for me and you're going to suffer. So this dude, uh, I had my awakening in that house. I didn't know what was going on, but I know I started to see this person differently. I started just seeing everything that this person was, and I couldn't believe my eyes, right? This isn't something I asked for. This is something the universe said, you're going you to come back this lifetime and get what the fuck is yours, and you're going to get these people back for the shit they've done to you, okay? I've had dreams about being buried alive. I've had dreams... Um, the one day my dude and I were at the park and I was telling him, I said, I, I feel like that I'm having these dreams about somebody putting shit over my head and I can see the moon I'm laying on my back that I was either drowned or buried alive. And I said, buried alive, this car alarm went off for like ever. And it was one, two, three in the afternoon. And as I said that the wrapper to my fruit from the store that we got said a hundred percent guaranteed and literally blew in front of us and stopped right there. Okay. This is how my guides tell me shit. So I feel like this group of people had done something to take my life in another life. And I came back to get some fucking shit back. Okay. And that's what's happening, whether they like it or not. So this fake laugher, I started noticing that shit in somebody else as well, okay? This could be a run in the family kind of thing. Uh, a fake laugher, a fake crier. And my, and I told you all about the father dying and the fake tears and the cop salt and shit like that. And it's like, you can't get past uh, an awakened being with that fake laugh and shit. These people, why, you know what? I answer my own question. The reason this person won't just come up and do some shit or say some shit is they have to do it covertly because they know that somebody's probably awakened and they probably know that you can't get none past this person. You you can't you can spot a sociopath, psychopath, liar, fraud. I I can just see it in the way they stand. You know what I'm saying? Needs a straight jacket. Look, mm, okay. This fake. This is the kind of person that will listen. <laughs> oh shit this is somebody who really sh they're gonna be put away this could be the person i've been picking up on that knows they're going to jail or prison they're scared to death they, they do the shit but they do, they're not tough enough to go where they need to go for you know what i mean can you guys feel the energy so do they not good so whatever this happening on the planet with <laughs> I'm telling you, when I feel something changing energetically in the atmosphere and it's uncomfortable for me and I'm in high vibration, right? I'm not getting high. I'm not drinking myself to death. I can't imagine what these other people feel, okay? We were put here to warn some people about it, not to be mean, but to say, look, you either start changing your shit or every time the vibration changes and it goes up another frequency, it's going to be more and more uncomfortable. And the more and more uncomfortable it gets, the more that this, this, this darkness and these people come out and they start having like you know, fights and arguments and outbursts and they start getting more crazy and stuff like that. And like, I told people about this, man. That's why you come for me. It's like, if I warn people and you didn't want to listen and shit and you come for me anyway, you listen, laying flat is exactly how you're going to be. Look, then laying flat. I feel like somebody can't stand, um, the skin that they're in. That's what I feel like. And they can't, they've been plotting. They can't stand, first off, they can't stand the fact that somebody else is that intuitive is what I just saw when I flipped the cards. Okay. Empress, divine feminine. You could be an earth sign. You could be a Taurus specifically Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, or just somebody that's just in that badass energy. Okay. What this is, it look, judgment is the only one upside down. Pisces possibly, but judgment was the only one upside down. So you don't have any more karma. 
And when you do that and you clear that, when you are completely karma free, I'm telling you, somebody even thinks about you wrong and something goes wrong in their life, that shit goes back immediately in some way, shape or form. Now, when people think karma, they think always it's detrimental shit. It will be that. But it's a bunch of little things that leads up to that. I feel like the universe, um, you know, what is it? And it smacks you on the hand first because it really doesn't want to like destroy your life and turn this shit upside down. But lessons got to be learned and people got to learn like there's some things you just don't do if you don't want done to you. Whether you like it or not, you will be dealt with. Period. Right? Look, there's that Leo again. There's a Leo specifically. Or this person is so out of their pride and ego. Or you're strong enough to handle this, okay? If this isn't a Leo, then you're strong enough to handle this shit, right? And you keep moving forward with the energy here. And somebody else, probably not so good. Look at this King of Cups in reverse. How did these get in reverse? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in reverse. That's that cold-hearted inability, like inability to love motherfucker here. That and judgment was in reverse. They're the only two cards that were in the up in the reverse here. So there could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that's experiencing heavy karma right now for them two to be upside down. All right, there's another one. Death, Scorpio. Wow, you can't make this shit up, can you? So there's death. This, there we go with this Scorpio again, right? There's definitely a Scorpio male who's experiencing very, very... Tremendous karma, okay? And and I don't even think that this is the worst it's going to get. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, look, somebody's stressed out. This is, uh, I feel like somebody here is trying to hide what they're going through mentally very well. I get a little bit lonely. This person could be very lonely. I feel like this person has a real big problem with somebody else's ability to stand strong on their own. This If, if this... If this person has a problem with someone's strength and ability to constantly move forward and, and the final countdown is on, uh -oh. the last time the final countdown came on, somebody passed away that I did a reading for. So if this is the, if this is what's making them crazy, they're definitely a sociopath. They came that they came to do something they can't do because no one else would be so mad that somebody else was so strong that they're still standing and shit unless they were sent to knock you off and they can't. Okay. Yep. This person could also be on the run and like they're just waiting for something to happen here. This is also like my anticipating. Let me find out what if that's what they're anticipating. What what uh, struggle? Okay. Well, right. All right. Okay, well, I, I just feel like somebody is very intimidated by somebody else's ability to combat whatever this is that they're trying to do or somebody, somebody's uh, like, I don't think somebody, this is why, look at this Empress is Divine Feminine. People really underestimate this energy of Divine Feminine, especially if you are a woman. You got a lot of dudes constantly underestimating this shit. Look at you. It's like, look, it's like steamroller and shit, okay? There could be a mother cancer that's having a problem right now. That's for somebody. There could be a mom that's a cancer that you had a soul contract with. I guess there is no one to blame, he just said. So... This is the kind of person that blames everything on somebody else. This this is just that motherfucker. And, and they don't ever get anywhere in life. And they really haven't. If they think about it, it's like, have I really done anything in my life? No. Without having to do some, some shady, slimy shit? No. It's because you would never learned a lesson. You never took accountability and everything was somebody else's fault. This was the problem with the family I was dealing with. Nobody ever took accountability. The shit was like running rampant mentally. Like, you know, they break up with somebody. It has to be their fault. You know what I mean? And, and even though they know it is, they'll tell everybody else it's not. You have to be wary of people like this. And when we're asleep, we don't notice this. Some of us did it too. But you can't come at me with no shit like that. You know what I mean? At one point, me and this dude, my, we were friends and shit. We couldn't even talk anymore because he knew he couldn't get over on me anymore. So we wind up just walking past each other in the house and shit. You know what I mean? It was just like I wasn't going to purposely go out of my way to talk to a motherfucker that I knew was phony and was no good. You know? I don't talk to murderers, first of all. Um, and I don't talk to men who rate women. So... That's that. I will fuck you up, though. If you came to do it to me, uh, you will go down crumbling and on fire. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. So, look, somebody can't stand this. First of all, look at this. 
There's a Leo specifically, though, that's constant, like, that keeps moving forward. They're doing this shit on their own, going through struggle. So um, there could be another person that's involved here. They're moving forward, possibly from a mom. They could have moved on from a mother that they had a soul contract with. This could That's what this Empress could be as well, that there's a Leo who broke for you some shit, okay? But with this person with the fake laugher and needs a straitjacket... This person's not handling the energy that's changing very well. All right. I'm going to get some, um, where are we at? 40 fucking minutes already? Oh my gosh. All right. Hold on. Let's just get some quick. Mm -mm -mm. Final countdown. Final countdown. I'm telling you, last time this song was coming on, I think it was like a few months ago. I think somebody either got locked up or they passed. That's not a good thing. Let's see. Tracking your car. Okay. So somebody thinks they're slick. They, they, you know, we already, I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that. I, I have to keep my mouth shut about how much that I know about certain shit. All right. Now, the government is threatened by you. Mm -hmm. And so are their workers. <laughs> right. The government is threatened by chosen ones. And so are the people who work for the government or don't work for them anymore. They're intimidated and threatened too. Let's see. Tried to kill you. That's what I told you. Tried is the key word, though. Hmm? You can keep trying, 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 trying again, and you will keep fail, 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 failing again, okay? Child sex trafficking, okay? This could be this person or this group, this fucking group, whatever it is, because it's like there's a lot of toxic-ass groups. They're all going down. That's why I made the card, okay? Tell me about this. Oh, thank you. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody, a friend of yours. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody that you showed loyalty to. Yeah, or, or you, you you showed friendship to and they rejected it. They didn't want to be your friend. This sounds like somebody got friend zoned. Come on and take a free ride. Yeah, somebody likes a free ride all the time. They don't want to have to pay for this, pay for that. So they get into what? What? What do they get into? Killing people for money, child sex trafficking, all kinds of dirty, low vibing, pussy ass shit. Because they don't want to work. Okay. Somebody's also pissed off because their money got funny and their money's slow. But they probably tried to slow somebody else's down. When that energy came back, it hit. Okay. All right. Let's see. Now they're penny pinching and shit. Okay. Somebody tried to kill you. Why? Because, oh my God, you guys are just so fucking weird. <laughs> somebody thought they were going to get a free ride off of somebody else's death. Okay. Somebody's mad that you have stability here. Somebody's pissed off that the more that they try to do to try to slow you down or cause obstacles or whatever, I don't even know like what the fuck you weirdos come up with, but it doesn't work. It's like a waste of like whatever brain cells are left, okay? It doesn't work. Nobody's winning. That's what he said. Like nobody wins in this shit. That's why like I talk about the laws of stupidity that somebody actually, that actually exists. The laws of stupidity is when somebody tries to make someone else lose and that not, only, not only do they not gain anything, but they lose doing it. And the other person doesn't lose. Yet so you're a stupid fucking person at that point. Like, I, I, I'm sorry. It's like, and I don't really like going around using that word, but you're stupid when you try to make somebody else lose for whatever reason. And you're not, that's not working. And you're losing, not gaining a thing. That makes you stupid. Like, why would you even put so much energy and attention on something unless you're getting something out of it? I just don't understand it. Anyway, let's get back to it. So, somebody somebody either rejected your friendship or whatever. And I don't know. They could have rejected your friendship because they, they uh, were married or they were stuck in a marriage or something like that. Or somebody here, um, they wanted stability. This is Pisces energy here is the only one I have. But somebody here possibly like you were friends with didn't want that. They pro they possibly wanted a relationship with you, okay? Maybe they wanted this relationship with you, okay? But they were stuck. They don't know how to say it, okay? That's what they... So someone's also trying to make somebody else stuck and in the process, boy, that they put themselves in a compromising position, okay? Look, I feel like this person had a family though. This person was married, Somebody was like stuck in a marriage they didn't want or, or something like that. And, and I feel like somebody wanted to have like you. This sounds like somebody wanting like their cake and eat it too. I want the wife, 
You know, I won't divorce the wife because I'm closet gay and that's my beard. You know, and it makes me it makes people think I'm responsible when I tell them I have a wife and kid, even though I can't fucking take care of them. I don't check, pay child support and I don't want to divorce my wife because then I have to pay spousal support. So instead, I'm going to lie and say that she's wants to keep my last name, even though her last name is better than mine and shit. You know what I mean? And it's like I just I, I, I this is the story with this dude. Like I I read all his cards. I wasn't even reading tarot cards at the time. But I said, why the fuck would your ex-wife, as supposedly ex-wife, want to keep your name? And her name is very similar to yours, you know what I mean? Italian last name. And that's when he started getting pissed. So I knew he was still married, okay? And I knew he was cheating. He's been cheating. He's just that type of scumbag motherfucker. And I wouldn't get involved with the shit. So that could be this, right? You wanted to be friends with somebody. That wasn't good enough. I guess they wanted somebody to be part of the harem garage. They wanted you to, hey, yeah, yeah, let's be part of this polygamous fucking whatever stupid bullshit this is with the... Bible shit and the Christian shit and it didn't work. And so possibly somebody wanted to try to kill somebody because, uh, yeah, they, they didn't want to get involved in whatever toxic ass group this was. This is that somebody wanted to get together here. You hear that beeping? Confirmation, right? They do this for opportunities. This person had a marriage, kids, but still looking for some kind of financial opportun opportunist. That's what this is. Okay. Opportunist. Tell me about this tracking their car. I want to find out what this is. Tell me about this tracking your car. This could have been past. This could be present for some of you. Tell me about this tracking your car. Tracking your car. Tracking your car. Tracking your car. Thank you. Hmm. You could have found out about it, right? Somebody tracking your car and you put, cause you put an end to some shit. I, I feel like that's what the saying, like they, they don't track your car anymore. Uh, you could have known about this and either had it taken off or, you know, you could have actually like, like what I did is you actually called some, somebody to invest and to look into it. <laughs> that's how some of this shit started. Yeah. Look, this is somebody's karma. Yeah. So for somebody here, you could have known they were tracking your car and you actually told authorities and shit. You could have not said anything to this person and then that could have been what started this investigation for somebody. <laughs> um, for others of you, they literally could have flattened your tires because I'm looking at this as a tire because they're pussies like that. Um, and I'm looking at the knives, right? They could have tracked your car, done some dirty shit to your brakes. Or, you know, we know what they do. They're sociopaths, right? But the shit don't ever pan out. Not when they do it to a person who's a good person. Now, like I said before, when they do this shit to other sociopaths, they can ride this shit all day long, flatten your tires, do this. You can even put a bomb under the fucking hood if you want. It'll probably go off. You do it to a chosen one. That shit will just short out, okay? And, and this is the supernatural shit that people don't understand that happens when you have protection from the universe, right? This just government shit don't mean a fucking damn thing. These police officers don't mean a fucking damn thing, okay? And there's no disrespect to the ones who are actually doing the right thing, okay? Uh, but for dirty cops and shit, the ones who thought you going to do something, okay? Especially when it came to me, motherfuckers. Uh, think again, bitches, okay? Because I know your asses are getting rocked, too. So I ain't afraid of fucking nobody, okay? And that's the attitude that you guys got to have, too. You, they are afraid of you. These people like to intimidate. This is what I learned in that house when I had the one come at me. And I said, what the fuck are you going to do? This dude, Mike, he says, nothing, right? He didn't like that. He isn't used to a woman jumping back. Then I had his dude pull a knife on my dude, and I jumped in front of it and pushed his dad back. And it's like, I didn't realize I had this in me, right? My fucker looked at me sideways and shit, okay? It was a whole different story after that. Then I had the toxic fucking stepfather told me to knock my teeth down his throat, my throat. I put my hands behind my back and said, come get it. This is just the way I had to defend myself against these men. And there ain't no uncle or cousin or fucking whatever is going to do anything different. You come for me, you're going to get dealt with the same way. And that's just the way you got to handle people like this. Because they do this shit off of fear, right? Ain't nobody afraid of nothing. What the fuck is there to be afraid of, huh? Steals from their mother's purse? You want me to be afraid? You want me to be afraid of somebody who steals out of their mother's purse? Is that what you want? I'm supposed to be afraid of somebody who steals out of their mother's purse and can't provide for their family, huh? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. But claims they're in, they independently steal from their mother's purse, right? I feel like they steal from their mom's purse, but, but they, they claim to be like independent. Like they'll steal money from their mom's purse. Okay. And then they'll, they'll act like they got that money themselves. Dirty house, karmic child. Okay. Okay. This karmic child steals from their mother's purse and they, they live in, they don't clean themselves. They don't clean their surroundings. Okay. This is someone rapes women. This is somebody, somebody's supposed to be afraid of, huh? 
This is nothing but weak here. All this shit. Every, they want to be independent. They want to come off like this. But when you're stealing from mommy's purse and you got a filthy house and you rate women, motherfucker, let me tell you something about me. Okay? <laughs> This is one bitch you ain't doing it to. You feel me? And and for all you women, you have to be in this energy. Ain't nothing to be afraid of me, motherfucker. Look, somebody's nephew. Huh? So somebody's nephew. So you may know this person. You could know this person's mom or something. Ugh, toxic. Somebody's nephew rapes women. Their uncle could watch my shit is what I'm getting. Hmm, how's that? Want to act surrounded by undercover. They act like they don't know each other here. Look, surrounded by undercover. Okay. So I don't know. I'm guessing maybe this uncle's finding out through me that for something personal here that your nephew fucking rapes women. Okay. They're surrounded by undercover right now. I feel like the other person knows, man. That's why they backed off. But I'm going to leave it at that because I'm not going to say too much shit. Somebody here is putting their shit in the fire coming for somebody. Somebody's got uh, a shape-shifting demon around them, and I don't even think this person realizes that they got one inside of them and shit, okay? But that was the dream that I had, and these are the messages that I share, and that's that. We're not going nowhere. T out. Love you.